Hello and welcome back to the Sales Hustle channel and today we're going to talk about account teams. Yes, I'm going to tell you what is the significance of account teams and when and where to use account teams and how to basically use them. Coming up. So account object is basically used to store the information of your customers, your partners or your prospects. And there are like there's a team involved with your customers to help them into multiple aspects of your business. Like let's imagine if uh, you're selling um, like let's say a light or a lighting solution to uh, an office like and that or that office name is XYZ software. In that case, there is a sales consultant that is assigned to that particular XYZ software. So what you can do is you can like mark that sales consultant as an owner or set that sales consultant as an owner of that account. But what about if there are other people also involved with that particular account from our side? Where we're gonna, we're gonna store the information of those people. We're gonna store that information in account team. Account teams. Account teams are basically used to store the information of the different different users that are associated with that particular account. Let me elaborate it a little bit. Account is basically an object in which we store the information of the customers and the prospects that we have or the partners that we have. And there are different different people from our side who are supporting our customers or who are supporting or who are working with our prospects to uh, like on different different aspects like let's say there is a sales consultant, there is a project manager, there is a, a, like, a quality assurance engineer who is associated with that particular account from our side. So where are we going to store the information of these people uh, in Salesforce? We're going to use account teams to store the information of these people. And by the way, there is a field on every object, which is uh, owner field, which defines that who owns this particular record or who is responsible for this particular record. Like, let's imagine uh, we talk about leads. In leads, uh, if we set someone as an owner, then it's his or her responsibility to convert or work onto that lead or yeah, work onto that lead to convert it. So it's similarly, uh, like similarly with accounts, we have the owner field on account as well. And that owner field defines that who is responsible for this account. But there are different, different people responsible for different, different things on that particular account. So where are we going to store the information of that? We're going to store that information in account teams. Let me give you another example to explain it to you. So uh, like we are, we are running a software development company and we have different, different clients to whom we assign our resources. So there is a client XYZ software and there is a client AM. So to XYZ software, there is like a different, completely different team of developers that we have assigned to them. And there is a project manager that we have assigned to them. And there's a quality assurance engineer that we have assigned to them. And there's a different team of developers that is assigned to uh, this a and uh, And there's like the, the, the uh, quality assurance engineer is also different. But the project manager of a and project is also same. Like project manager in both of these situations are safe. So what we are going to do in this situation, we're going to store this information in account teams for both of these accounts and all of the people like the, these developers, these quality assurance engineers and these, uh, this project manager, all of the uh, information of these people will be stored in users or basically user object. As we all know that user object is used to store the information of the people who are working for us or executives or the employees that are working for our company. And this is what we want to do with the, with the help of account teams that who uh, from our side is working with this account or with another account. So again, we're going to use account teams over here. Now let's understand the underlying architecture of account teams. So account is an object, user is also an object and there can be multiple users assigned to a single account and a single account can have multiple users or yeah. A single user can be assigned to multiple accounts and a, a single account can have multiple users. So what kind of a relationship does it like it is? The relationship between account and user is many to many. And whenever there is a many to many relationship, we need to create what? A junction object. So this is the kind of relationship that we have. And there must be a junction object in here, which defines that or like which users are there in which accounts. And this junction object is actually called as account. That's it. This is what the underlying architecture of account team is. Now let's jump right into our Salesforce org and add some account team members in any of the accounts. So I have uh, an account over here, which is called as ABC software and I'm going to click onto it. And then I'm going to go to the related tab over here. 
but i'll notice that there is no related list such as account teams in here and there is a reason behind that because first you have to enable account teams in your salesforce org in order to add users into a particular account as an account team member and for that what all we have to do is we just have to go to setup like this in setup i'll write down account team and i'll click on account teams item that is coming over here in the quick find box and i'll click on enable account teams then it's going to ask me um, like you want to enable account teams i said yes and i'll click on save i basically clicked on a checkbox nothing else and then it's going to ask me that on which uh, page layouts you want to add this account team related list so i'm select, i'm going to select all of them and i'm going to i'm going to click on save so uh, account teams are enabled in your salesforce org and now uh, you can define the team roles in here only so let me tell you or let me explain you what exactly team roles are so as i've explained to you that uh, you know, like to a particular client of yours or to a particular customer of yours uh, abc software or xyz software whatever it is uh, you are assigning a project manager you are assigning developers you are assigning some senior developers some consultants and some quality assurance engineers so these all are roles project manager is a role developer is a role qa is a role and you are assigning different different users on these roles so you need to define those roles in here with the help of team roles so if we click on team roles just like this we're going to find all the team roles which are already available and provided by salesforce and uh, if you want to like uh, delete if you want to deactivate if you do, do not want any role to be present over there just deactivate them and if you want to create new roles like i want to create a project manager team role so i'm going to click on new and i'm going to type write down project manager and another role i will specify as developer just like this and i'm going to click on save now let's go to our account and we'll add some users over there as account team members so let's see so here is abc software i'm going to uh, like refresh this page once again here is abc software and in the related tab i've got account teams as a related list and all what i have to do is add team members just like this and when i click on this uh, i'll be able to add users so i have different different users over here i have one salesforce hulk so i'm, I'm i can add the salesforce hulk as uh, the project manager for this particular account and i can also define the access that this particular user will have on um, this particular account so abc software and let me explain it to you how it basically works so if you define the owd as private or read only then in that case if you want to share the records to different different users uh, you can do that with the help of account teams as well you do not always have to create sharing rules so this helps you to uh, open up the access as well so uh, just define the access and if you have another user oh like i have salesforce hulk only and if you have another user like i used to have a paul paul davidson yeah i do, i do have a user paul davidson so this paul davidson is a developer and i'm going to assign uh, this role to him and i'm going to specify the accesses just like this and i'm going to save it so i've already added the team members basically the account team members into this particular account and this is all what you have to do in order to add users into an account as an account team member now as you can see over here this is coming up uh, like add default team so let me explain you what this default team is and where you have to uh, specify the default team so uh, most of time uh, what we do is whenever we uh, like depends on the organization of course so most of time what happens is that if i am the owner of an account and i have a default team who helps me out with that particular account so i can set it as default team and after setting it as default team i can just click on this add default team button and all the users uh, which are there in that particular default team with all the roles and with all the access will automatically be added into that particular account as an account team member that's it so how are we going to do that i'll just go to setup and i'll click on or basically i'll open up uh, the user record uh, of that particular owner so currently salesforce hulk is the owner i'll click on uh, user here is salesforce hulk and i want to define the default team for salesforce hulk 
then in that case i'll go to the uh, related list that i have over here default account team i'm going to click on add and i can add all the users that i want to set as uh, set into the default team basically so i'll select uh, paul i guess uh, here is paul davidson uh, it's the same thing uh, i'm defining the access over here and also the team role so let's say developer uh, like paul davidson is the developer and Salesforce Hulk is again, or let's say he's the sales manager. Say. So now if I'll go on to any other account, like let's say I have Blues Entertainment Corporation. So if I'll click on add default team in here both of these users will auto automatically be added at the particular role which i have defined as a default team in the owner's user record over there paul davidson team role developer salesforce Hulk, team role sales manager and that's all what you need to know about account teams in salesforce hope you enjoyed the video and if you did then make sure to hit the subscribe button over here and if you're watching this video on facebook or linkedin there's a link down in the description just hit that link go to the youtube channel hit the subscribe button because this is the best channel on YouTube for Salesforce. And don't you think so? And if you think so, then make sure to subscribe. See you next time. Bye-bye.